It's Cooper K. Cooper K. It's 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 Cooper K. What's going on, everybody? It is the one and only, you know, you know who it is, your boy, DJ Scuba Kane, in the building with y'all, along with my boy, Quave. Let him know what's up, Quave. What's going on with you, Quave? Nothing, just chilling. Just another day, man. We yep. chilling with y'all, Facebook, YouTube everybody today's subject is real deep man we covering the one and only jeffrey dahmer yes jeffrey dahmer that's who we're covering today right now uncovering the mystery who was jeffrey dahmer that's what we're gonna talk about we want to know you know we're gonna we're gonna just go over some things with him who was he you know what i mean he was a deep individual man i mean this dude everybody for some reason Love Jeffrey Dahmer. I don't know why. I, 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 he wasn't in my time. He was in, he wasn't in your time. Definitely. He was around when I was a young kid, not young, about maybe about, uh, I don't know, man, 13, 14, maybe, no, no, probably younger than that. All I know. Yeah. I had to have been younger than that, yeah. man. When it, I didn't live around him, I, I was actually, uh, born in milwaukee so i'm just telling you guys i lived out there around the jeffrey dahmer time but i was a young kid he's a lot older but with that being said jeffrey dahmer man who was he you know who was my man he was a killer he was a illa he was the only mind retilla you know what i mean yeah the man was a a bone out murderer he was different and and with that being said a lot of people a lot of his netflix thing man went crazy you know what i'm saying his netflix uh show took off took off bro like it's like the number one show right now on the net straight up you know what i mean and yeah. I mean number one yeah. streaming show and number one slow show on streaming Netflix and what so but the thing is 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 a lot of people want to know like you know who was Jeffrey Dahmer you know I got a lot of questions and I'm gonna tell you he was a deep individual I'll tell you who he was he was somebody that you couldn't trust he was he was a, 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 a fake friend to his own friends you know what I mean the man was just ridiculous and um it's like what was jeffrey dahmer's last words do you guys know if you guys you know want to participate feel free to comment i can't see any of the comments right now if you're in facebook or youtube I, i'm not in there viewing anything but i'm saying if you want to be a part of the show just you know comment i want to know what you guys think about jeffrey dahmer uh, you know, they said, what was his last word? The convicted murder of 17 young, murdering 17 young men. Dahmer was killed by a fellow inmate in prison. They say his last word was, I don't care if I live or die. And they said, go ahead and kill him. That's what the, uh, when they was about to kill him, they asked him, you know, what I guess the killer, it said his final word spoke to his killer. Rare, eerie, rare, eerie, whatever that is. And he said, I don't care if I live or die. You know, J Jeffrey Dahmer didn't care, man. But you know what? I, I, I look at it like this. Would you give him what he wanted, Quave? Would he you, he, he, he said he don't mind if he, he don't care if he live or die, man. Would you, would you have gave him what he wanted? Yeah. If you was in that prison. I would have gave him what he wanted. He deserved it anyways. You think so? 
I think yes, he <laughs> definitely deserved it. Yeah, but you gotta understand. Nigga was true. He was. He was. He, do you think he should have been in the crazy house, bro? Like, no. It's some people out here that should be locked up. They don't even no, realize it. Because if he was in a crazy hospital, he would have did it to one of them. He yeah. would have gave him a drink. Yeah. Around yeah. lunchtime, say, yeah. do you want to get a? Do you want a drink? And they would have said, yeah. Yeah. Next thing you know, he go hide the body in his room. But that Netflix thing, man, it, it took off like like uh like crazy. Yeah, it did. You know, it's like Jeffrey Dahmer, man, he kinda you know, uh, got a did a name bigger than you know, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, you know? Yeah. I mean, did. you know, did you did you see some of the killings that he did, man? He did a lot. Yeah. He even did it to young kids. And yeah, he did. And he was killing yeah, a couple kids, everything. couple kids. I, I I mean, most of them was like early twenties. You know what I mean? That he killed. I don't I don't know if he killed any kids in his younger days, man. But you know, in the show he did. In the show he killed the kid. He killed the couple. And it say, how accurate is Jeffrey Dahmer's, uh, how accurate is Jeffrey Dahmer's, la uh, I'm sorry, Netflix series, as far as they say, Anska told the, Annie Squish, Squishers told the, I hope I said that name right, the independent, that filmmaker behind Monster, the, okay, so Annie E. Squatzers told the independent that the filmmaker behind the monster Jeffrey Dahmer's story took artistic license with many key details saying the series does not bear a great deal of resemblance to the fact of the case <clears throat> so everything wasn't like super on point you know what I mean as far as that is concerning but you know when they made the movie they they fictioned some of it up yeah you know some of it wasn't all super real but i could tell you this i could tell you this that Dahmer Dahmer must have wanted to uh go after gays man i think he was yeah, targeting yeah. gays you know what i mean yeah, he was. it was more like more like it wasn't just normal people, man. Jeffrey Dahmer was going after gay people. Uh, in his interview, he did an interview. <clears throat> you know, do you think his parents should have been prosecuted, man? His parents should have went to jail. <laughs> yeah, that's true, man. That's true. Uh, you know, to me, I think, I think it's not fair that they get to walk around, you know what I mean? Yeah, and, and they probably still walking. Yeah, it's not fair that they get to walk around, you know, and enjoy their life after they raised a, a monster, you know. Exactly, they probably got another kid though. Who knows? It's no telling, bro, but, you know, let's check this story, check this out, man. Check this out, Jeffrey Dahmer, y'all. We're talking about Jeffrey Dahmer, for those of y'all who just, tuned in we're talking about jeffrey dahmer leave a comment i want to know your opinion about jeffrey dahmer do you think he got you know off easy getting killed in electric chair i mean not electric but in jail beat or do you think he should have got the electric chair what do you guys think you know um i think they should have showed the beating man i would have loved to see him you know get beat down for what he did to them people man that ain't that wasn't cool at all Let's what check out this 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 thing right here. Jeffrey Dahmer, y'all. Check it out. Jeffrey Dahmer, the serial killer and cannibal whose saga of evil has been given new life in the hit Netflix series Monster. I'm going to ask you some questions that are tough. In this never-before-seen video from the Inside Edition archives, he's clearly nervous. 
His hands won't stay still as he prepares for the exclusive 1993 oh, interview. Oh, what questions do you start out with? A new generation is learning about his horrifying crimes through the number one Netflix series. What appears to be a psychopathic mass murder. Destination 32 clear. This world exclusive interview took place inside the maximum security prison in Wisconsin, where he was serving 999 years. He was escorted by three prison guards. One officer held each arm as he was taken in handcuffs into an elevator. Nobody was taking any chances with the most notorious killer in America. Dahmer was 33 when he told Nancy Glass about his twisted motive for killing 17 men. Not because I was angry with them, not because I hated them, but because I wanted to keep them with me. And uh, as my obsession grew, uh, I was saving body parts such as uh, skulls and uh, skeletons, and eventually I did uh, turn to uh, cannibalism. This is for you. He described how he picked up his victims in gay bars and brought them home. I'd have the uh, sleeping pill mixture already prepared. Person would drink it, fall asleep, and uh, that's when they would be strangled. And he made a startling admission about the evil urges that propelled him to kill. Do you still feel those same urges? Do you still feel that compulsion, that obsession? Uh, I wish I could say that uh, it just left completely, but uh, no, there are times when I still do, still do have uh, the old compulsions. Now that's interesting, man. That's interesting. He, he, he loved killing. He loved killing. I just want to cut through some of the stuff he said. Notice how he said um, he he saved skulls. He's a great Hall Halloween dude, man. If you want to play as Jeffrey Dahmer, just don't do the killing. They got Jeffrey Dahmer glasses out, man. Have you seen him? Yeah, uh, YouTube. There's YouTubers acting like Jer you, uh, YouTubers with acting like Jeffrey Dahmer got bought a beer from the gas station, same beer he drinks everything and portraying Jeffrey Dahmer without the killer. Yeah, man, they got his glasses, his glasses for sale. They got different versions of them. So if you guys want some Jeffrey Dahmer glasses, they definitely got them right there, man. They got them. Jeffrey Dahmer glasses up they don't, for sale. They don't come around my crib, don't come around my crib like you, that. Uh, uh, TMZ actually was the ones that they told us $94. Ray, Ray bands make them. Ray-Bans, you can get you some Jeffrey Dahmer glasses right from Jeffrey, right from Ray-Ban, you know. Hey, but anyway, speaking of that story, man, that he, uh, speaking of, you know, what we was talking about as far as uh, Jeffrey Dahmer and, you know, this this story that he's telling, notice how he, he's not hurt about anything he's, he's done. Nothing, man. It don't affect him. He's not crying. He he got an opportunity right here on the show to say he's sorry to some of the victim's family, but he don't say it. But this is an inside interview in the mind of Jeffrey Dahmer, serial killer, y'all. Check it out. We're going to pick through some of it, but I would like to go back. If you notice, and, and we're going to go, we're going to do it like this. I'm going to go to a different one. When we're on the move, I'm going to go to a different one because... If you notice, man, he has no sympathy at all. You know, how can a person, you know, kill so many people and, and then, you know, have no sympathy? And he barely got caught, bro. He barely got caught. You know that, right? Mm -hmm. If that one guy hadn't escaped, bro, he wouldn't have got caught. Jeffrey Dahmer could have been doing it for years, you know. But let's check this out. Check this out. I, uh... <laughs> I don't know. I went to great lengths. He is pure evil, but you'd never know it by looking at him. But when you hear him, that's another story. His killing field was Milwaukee, and he got away with murder for more than a decade. But how could any of this happen? For the first time ever, Nancy Glass is here inside the world of Jeffrey Dahmer. Now, this is the lady that interviewed him. Okay, the original interviewer of her. You know what I mean? They're going to actually show... Her talking to him, but it wasn't a long interview. You know what I'm saying, Quave? Yeah. It was kind of, you know, I, I think she could have went longer with that interview, bro. But you know, 
He's probably scared. Yeah. And you know, you're right. He did kill a kid. I think he did kill a kid. I think he did kill a kid. Let's let's skip it up a little bit. See if they talking. Again. What happened to you in the nine years in between that you were able to stop? That you were able to control yourself? It just wasn't an opportunity to uh, fully express what I wanted to, to so do. He, so he said he could have controlled himself, bro. But he didn't. He had an opportunity to stop. But he, he just didn't stop, you know, the mind of a serial killer. You know, and then he, and then what made him so deep is he ate his victims. Now I'm gonna tell you, they could have used him in, over there in, in the, some of the wars, like Desert Storm. Can you imagine putting him in Desert Storm? That'd be crazy. Now that, that's what you use him for. You put him out. He's a killer. This is a real killer. Instead of them training one, they got one homebred, Jeffrey Dahmer, a real. So where do you put him in the war zone? You know what I mean? Yeah. Put him over there. Can you imagine, man, him over there? Desert Storm, he would have ate a lot of Indians. A lot of Iranians would have been gone, man. He would have ate them all up, bro. They wouldn't have been able to. He wouldn't, man. I would have had, hey, he would have been my side, man. Straight up, bro. He would have been my side. If I was in a war with Jeffrey, Jeffrey was my partner, bro. He the win, man, you want to be your partner. Think about it, man. Tell him wait around the door. When they come in, start eating. Start eating, bro. I'm going to start shooting. You start eating. Be like they, a they, tiger. You know, it's going to be, be what happened is all them, you know, the Iranian people say, man, you don't, it's a dude out here eating them. Y'all better watch it eating, eating the Iranians. But he, he liked black meat. So he was eating <laughs> niggas. We got, so I, I, if he was my lot sidekick. <laughs> I probably would have been gone, bro. <laughs> I would have been sitting there asleep. He's supposed to be watching out for me, right? I look up, he nibbling on my arm. I'm like, bro, don't you supposed to be doing night duty watch? I'm trying to sleep. You know what I mean? I, and he's smelling me and shit. Nah, I could, <laughs> nah, he couldn't have been my partner, bro. Can you Yo, imagine that? No. That'd be crazy. Go out there, you got Jeffrey Dahmer, your partner in a war, and he, he looking at you to eat you. You don't even know it. God. He waiting for his opportunity. You over there fighting a the war with him. He your side, man. You know. Can you imagine, man, if this dude had got on the police? Now he he hate he was eating niggas, right? Can you imagine if Jeffrey Dahmer, Put Jeffrey Dahmer, cop. had became a cop? He never got caught. Just imagine this, y'all. Now he's white. I ain't, I ain't got nothing against whites. He was eating our black people, so you gotta bear with me if y'all listening out there. Imagine Jeffrey Dahmer. Got away with it, y'all. You know, and decide to become a cop. Think about that you know shit. He was already eating niggas. You know, how cops is shooting. Man, blacks. he be eating. Exactly. He they be, be, it be bodies him. missing. He pull them over and chew, eat them up. And then they be like, man, they now eating niggas. They ain't shooting them no more. The police eating niggas now. You know how you many? Know, I want to know. I'm, I'm just joking, man. This is entertainment. Don't take me serious. This is yeah, all man. entertainment. This is a comedy show, y'all. Don't take it serious. Comedy show mixed with some real and new. So all y'all, don't be out there talking about you're going to call it in on me. Hey, he's doing this <laughs> yeah. on the show, please. This is a show. <laughs> Let's keep it going. Cops. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah. They didn't call on Jeffrey, but they want to call on me. You know. <laughs> <laughs> he on there doing it. He's smoking money. Oh, call the police. But Jeffrey Dahmer running around eating niggas and got away with it for, you know, I don't know how long. Like, and but was, they on my show want to call Mil the police on me. They said that me. was in Milwaukee. Yeah, that was Mill. That was the Mill. That's crazy. Yeah, that happened in the Mill, bruh. You know what I mean? But I'm going to keep it 100 with you. You know, it's a lot of, it's a lot of Jeffrey Dahmer's that's still out here. Yeah, they, like I said, they ain't caught them all. Let's see what he's talking about, Quave, man. Let's see what he's talking about. There was just not the, op the physical opportunity to do it then. And uh, I started, when I moved to Milwaukee in 81, uh, I started reading pornography, going to the bookstores. Um, eventually that led to the making of a serial killer. I just want you to know. 
This is how he was made. Okay, mm -hmm. he started out going to the bookstores with soft porn, probably. I just, you know, so you guys know, you know, if you don't know, you may have a, a, a serial killer in your, in your home and you don't know it. He don't even know it. Think about that. Look around at your family members, see if you're raising a serial killer. Yeah. You can, you'll can, notice them right off the bat. If you knock on the bathroom door and they open and, you know, some weird stuff going on, hey, you doing something, you looking at porn, You because it's not norm to look at porn all yeah. the time. You, you can look at it sometime, but if you looking at porn too much, something ain't right. You do something. A <laughs> little bit of porn here and there, but not too much, guys. You know, then you then you turn yourself. But he didn't just look at porns. He hated animals. Let's see. Check it out. I want to pick through this this dude brain, man. Check this out. Uh, frequenting the gay bars, and then I. One time, I brought this uh, young man back to the hotel room, the Ambassador Hotel. Uh, was just planning on drugging him and uh, spending the night with him. I had no intention of hurting him. When I woke up in the morning he uh, had a broken rib here wait, wait, wait. I was heavily bruised apparently I had uh... now, apparently my mic was off I'm sorry again check this out man I this guy looks crazy why would anybody go home with him I never understand that Quave I don't know either. but he was able to fool people to go home with him then when he got him home look what he did now, some people didn't get drugged. Yeah. Some people did. Check it out. I was heavily bruised. Apparently, I had uh, beaten him to death with my fists. And you have no memory I of it? I have no memory of it. But that's what started the whole spree all over again. Dahmer says he snuck the corpse of his victim, Stephen Toomey, out of his hotel room in a suitcase. Then he took it to his grandmother's house, where he cut up the body and put it in plastic garbage bags. Wow. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wow. Wait, wait, wait. Her grandma, his grandma didn't know? You, you would the, think you come in here with all these with bags, suitcase, suitcase okay. yeah, and... That's bull, man. I'm telling no, you, don't son. Sound right. This cannibal thing, you got to understand, people, if y'all listening, I think the whole family, probably the people, grandma, everybody was kind of involved. You got to think about this. You can't bring this type of stuff. You're going to see blood dripping. You're going to see something around your house. You know, if somebody... It's going to smell weird. Trust me. My son come to the house or any of the kids, you know, and, and they bring in suitcases and shit. Come on, you, you're not going to ask what's in the suitcase, a suitcase, keep leaving and coming back, or you coming, just think about this, you come with a suitcase, come with a different suitcase, or come with the same, you're going to wonder why are you coming in and out with this suitcase, everybody do, I'm telling you, there was more involved, there, just put, put it to me, put the, put, you put the puzzle together, it fits. There was more involved. You just don't go to no one house and do this. Grandma seen this. Grandma was a part of it. Grandma probably was eating bodies too. Oh God. Think about it. A whole cannibalist family. They just got him. But 
there's still people coming up missing in Milwaukee. Have you ever thought about that? There's still bodies coming up where they at. There's cannibalism out there, I think. But let's check it out. Check it out. Check it out. This is entertainment purpose, y'all. I'm sorry my mic was off the last time, but this is just entertainment purpose. But y'all check it out. Y'all, I want to know what you guys think out there about Dahmer. Do you think there was more of his family involved? Or do you think he was just slipping through the cracks? No, nobody in his family seen any of this. No bodies, no nothing. They didn't see nothing. Come on. And, and he's going in and out the house with, with suitcases. You know, blood drips. You know, you he didn't have a place like the corner where he could drain and clean it real good. No, he pulling bodies and suitcases and wrapping them in plastic. So that blood and DNA, everything is all over that house. I bet you if they did a DNA in that house around that, they would have found grandma all around the body DNA. I'm telling you, let's check it out, y'all. When you kill these men afterwards, were you repulsed? Were you upset? No, it, at the time, uh, it, was, it was almost addictive. It was almost uh, a surge of energy. Uh, I wouldn't have to uh, worry about um, any of their needs or anything. I just had complete control of the situation. Wow, bruh. What do you think about that, Quave? Let me hear what you think about this dude, bro. Give me your insight. He say it's just, he took complete control. Like, huh? What you think about a person like that, bro? I, I don't know. I, it's hard to I'm understand. Lost. Like, how do you how do you do that? How? how? You know, you take a person after you kill them. Okay, I understand you kill them. Yeah, but now you eat them. So your whole intent was eating. He was hunting for food. So he's an animal. Right? He's a cannibalist that was hunting. You can't call him a um, kill serial killer. I wouldn't call. I'll call him a a, a, a hunter, a, a human hunter. What would you call him? I want to know what you guys think about Jeffrey Dahmer. What would you call him? Would you call? Is he is he appropriate? To and then be on called top of a that, serial killer. On top of that, he was only hunting for gay black men. Yeah, gay black men. It didn't sound. Only. It didn't sound. It didn't seem right. Like what? Bro, gay that's it. only. He didn't. He only liked gay. So was the meat different on a gay man? Think about it. I don't know. Think about man. it, Jeffrey. I didn't know that there was a certain type of meat out there, guys. Like Jeffrey was eating gay meat. I don't know. He liked that gay meat. Think about <laughs> it. What know, about bro. real strong, tough, manly meat? He didn't want that 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 meat straight off the grill meat, dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. You know, he wanted that soft, you know, that soft meat. That's what he wanted, that soft meat. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And Jeffrey, Jeffrey definitely, definitely got that soft meat, bro. You know it's, what I'm saying? Yeah. He definitely got that soft meat. You know, did he get it soft or what? He cooked it up real good. And he, he liked it. it. One thing about him, man, do you see any remorse on this guy? He don't care. This is what he did, man. Y'all got to understand. He, he did this, it all his life. Jeffrey Dahmer lived and breathed hunting humans. Black humans. Black meat. Black gay meat. Let's check him out. The urge to kill had overpowered him. As police later learned, he wasn't satisfied with his victim's death. He wanted more. Why did you photograph them? It was my way of remembering uh, their appearance, their physical beauty. Uh, I also wanted to keep something. If I couldn't keep them there with me whole, I, at least I felt that I could keep uh, their skeletons. Interesting, interesting. Now, he felt like he could keep, so he felt like they were a part of him. I'm just picking through this, man. He felt like they were a part of him if he kept a piece of them. 
but he'll eat their body but keep their bones. That don't that that right that there ain't right. come on, bro. Now you can eat. Now you going from cannibalism to collecting. Think about it. What do a hunter do? He kill a deer. Eat the deer, keep the head. Look, come on, bro. He this dude was hunting black people and eating them. Not just you know that the wasn't most of his victims black. Yeah. That's what I I that's what I I I, I maybe I'm wrong. Let's see. Was most I I I can check it. Was most of his victims black? A lot of people. I don't know. Let's see. You know they say they got that N word hunting thing. Yeah, we don't want to get on that. Most was most Jeffrey Dahmer's. victims was most jeffrey see they be giving you some jeffrey it'd be like was mostly jeffrey Dahmer. well most jeffrey Dahmer's. uh um, i think they said that man okay i don't know i'm pretty sure it was uh I'm pretty sure it was, but he did have other rates as well. Um, I am trying to see because I just want to get it right for y'all. You know what I mean? Black and queer. Well, I know. He, well, anyway, I, I I remember seeing a series. He had a couple, couple, uh, seventeen men because okay, Dahmer. Kill, killing 17 men because mo let's see let's see right here uh oh uh oh uh oh okay well anyway y'all let me know was the fact was most of his victims black was he just hunting black people y'all the, the listeners the viewers out there, please let me know. I want to know what y'all think, man. Leave a comment down there at the bottom. Let me know so I can have the facts right. But all I know is he was eating eating people and, and it was black people, you know, and and I feel like he was hunting 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 blacks. Now, he ain't the only one that was hunting black, so he's just one that got caught. You know what I'm saying, Quave? Yeah. But let's go on this let's go on over here and see what's up. Uh, setting up an altar with uh, the uh, ten different uh, skulls and skeletons. And what was the purpose of the altar going to be? Uh, as a sort of uh, memorial, uh, a, a point where I could I don't know. It's, it's, it's so bizarre and strange, it's hard to describe. A place where I could collect my thoughts uh, and feed my obsession. When the bodies were still in your apartment, there was no time when you would see them and say, this is grotesque, what have I done? There were times, there were times, but the compulsive obsession with uh, Doing what I was doing overpowered any feelings of revulsion. This this guy loves he loves I think he, I, I think he loves the meat. I think it was the food. You know what I mean? It was the food, Quave. I think he wasn't from this planet. Oh God! Think about it. How are you like? How you think that's normal? Yeah, that's right. He probably was from another planet. Do you guys think Jeffrey Dahmer? was from another planet. Let me know out there. He seemed alienated, you know. He ain't even talking for it. If you think he's from another planet, let me know. I think he's from another planet and he's and he got left on this planet and humans was his food. Let's just not say, I'm not gonna go racist and say blacks, but he was eating a lot of black. I think he just liked the black gay meat more, but I think human was his, his he was a, he was a, a, a hunter of humans. 
And I think his whole family was. But anyway, Quave, that's an interesting thing. What's, t- tell me about as far as some situations that when you watch the movies that you felt. I don't know, cause in the Did, movie he, he was eating, he was he was eating them, putting them in his refrigerator. Mm-hmm. And you remember the lady next door? Yeah. He tried to offer her some meat. No, cause she asked, "What's that smell?" And he said, "Nothing." <laughs> and then she kept hearing noises when she was in her house, in her apartment. Yeah. And, from the uh, his room. Yeah, yeah, and and she tried to offer him, and she and it kept it was going into her room, so she was spraying stuff because it was coming from the air vent. Wow, the top of her air vent. Yeah, the smell was real strong, and the thing is, is why didn't the police, you know, handle it early when they they knew something was wrong? Because I don't think she called the police yet until she really knew until she really you knew and found too. out i think a lot of people lies bro and the police just they go on calls and i feel like they just didn't take it serious a smell you know this it, it, you know and here you got this guy you know doing stuff right under under the nose of people you know and i don't know i think I, to me personally i think uh it could have been handled early. You know, they had a lot of signs. They could have got them. It like like right now. It's probably another one out there right now. And you nobody's paying attention to the signs. You know, nobody's caring about the signs. But if but the signs are there. You know what I mean? Yeah. But nobody's really caring. They just letting it be until, you know, so many people end up missing or it just become a, a, a huge thing. And then they want to, oh, I heard, you know. We've, and maybe in the news. It was on the sign. Yeah, now they, you know, want to talk about what they seen and heard. You know, you know, um, I'm more like let get, get rid of the situation before it gets worse. You know, there were signs of what Jeffrey was doing, man. But let's check the check them out. Check them out, y'all. This man with a quiet, almost shy demeanor became a master manipulator who was able to lure strangers he met at gay bars to his apartment. He was even able to con the police into returning a 14-year-old boy to him after neighbors called 911 upset that the child was in the street naked and bleeding. Dahmer convinced the police that he and the boy were simply having a lover's quarrel. Wow. Now think about that. What? You were right. You were right. He did have kids. I didn't know. See, I get it wrong. Like I was saying, if you guys, I I watched the movie, but I was in and out. I got to go back and get more details. You know what I mean? Plus, you know, I kind of, you know, I I, I, I know a little bit from what, when it happened, because I lived around that time. You know, I was youngster when it happened. So I know some of the story, but I might be wrong. So you guys let me know you know some of the story that you guys got it's a lot of rumors man so it was it was a chinese boy chinese boy yeah 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 and like they said the movie was kind of frictional That's and that was the I'm same confused that was the same boy in the movie it was yeah wow i didn't know that the same guy okay so maybe the movie's a true story it, yeah because i when i read about it they they says uh some of the movie it's mixed with truth and some is false. And, you know what I mean? They they over exaggerate some of the stuff, but yeah. um, cause they I don't know I don't know if the case was read before they did the movie. I don't know a lot about the research of it, but I just here's my thing. Some of the family members are complaining that when this when the series hit the shelf, you know when the series was on Netflix that it brought back some old wounds. And it did, it did, you know, but they should get compensated. Netflix you know, should get paid. Them. Well, like... Netflix should pay everybody if, 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 um, it would help. It would help because if that Jeffrey, was real shit. Man. If Jeffrey Dome was still alive, he'd probably be rich right now. Well, they're not going to let him. Out of money. The family, anything that comes out of the movies and all that, the family should get uh, a lot of that and I believe in my heart that they did because what he did was not fair and it, it was un, unreal 
You know, there was John. Remember the John Wayne Gracie? Yeah, I think I've seen that. Yeah, one. we gotta do a t- chop it up about him, man. But was that a movie on Netflix serial too? Killer. I think it was a documentary on him as well. But y'all tell me what y'all think about Jeffrey mm. Dahmer, man. This is a deep story we covering, and story, people was asking us, you know, maybe you know to cover some 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 stories like you know stuff like this. So we're gonna be covering a lot of movies and stories. But y'all tell me. Do you think Jeffrey got it easier getting his ass kicked in jail, or should they, you know, put him away from everybody and let the world see him get electrocuted? I think when he got his chance, and you know, when this dude got him, they should have videotaped it, YouTube did. Yeah. Man, you know, hey man, made or that they, a whole thing. Or they should have put him on death row. Uh, yeah, I think he. I don't know if he, I don't know if he was on that. I don't know. I think, I'm, I'm thinking he might have been. You know, I haven't been. I, I, like I said, it's been a while since I've actually watched the series and yes. I live some of it, but I didn't keep up with some of it. So, y'all tell me, did they put the man on death row or did they keep him in prison? Because they said I do kill him I'll in do prison. So, later on. yeah, it could have been, could have been killed him in prison, but he probably well, we don't like know. That. Let's see, let's know. see what, let's see what they say right here. Check it out. Boyfriend of another boyfriend. Well, how old was this child? It wasn't a child, it was an adult. After the police left, Jeffrey Dahmer murdered that boy, Conorak Synthesomphone. This man says he had a near fatal encounter with Jeffrey Dahmer. He wanted to take some picture of my back. He hit me with a rubber hammer on my neck. He was lucky to escape because by then the killing had become almost routine. Before you went out to pick up a man, was there any kind of ritual you went through? I go to the nightclubs, uh, drink, watch the uh, the strip tea shows, and uh, if I didn't meet anyone at the bars, I'd uh, go to the bath clubs and uh, meet meet someone there, offer them money, and we'd go back to the apartment, um, have a few drinks. I'd have the uh, the uh, sleeping pill mixture already prepared. Wow. Person would drink it, fall asleep. Man, he crazy, and, man. Uh, that's that when month, they would wow. be Wow. Every month, this Airbnb pays me in semi Wow, man. That is, that is, that is, that is, that is, that is, that is crazy. That is crazy. This dude, yeah, he was doing it. He was hunting his meat. And like I say, do you guys think he was an alien? Quave, you think he could have been an alien from another planet, man? He could have been. You know, what planet you think? What that ain't that ain't that planet? ain't real. You think he's from the moon, man? Think he's, Maybe he, oh, no. they dropped him down from the moon when they did the moonwalk. You know, when they went up there and did the moonwalk, man. They probably they dropped him, him by accident. Yeah, they brought him down, you know, and he got How do you get you know, to space? How do you get think. to you how do you get to United States, though, like I don't know, bro, bro. That's that's deep. That's, that's, deep. that's that's outrageous. That's crazy. You know, he dropped from the moon, and then he he came to to the United States, in Milwaukee, and decided to start eating whatever he was eating, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? Whatever he was eating, I'm not. I, I was saying blacks, but I'm not gonna say blacks because if I start being racist, it's not fair there, but. You know, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying he was eating a group of something. Check this out. Watching the movie Exorcist Three was also part of his ritual. It put him in the mood for murder. I felt so hopelessly uh, evil and perverted that uh, that I, I actually derives a sort of pleasure from watching that tape did you like feeling evil no no i didn't but uh i had tried to overcome the thoughts and it worked for a while but now i'm gonna tell you between me and you bro tv could have an influence on what made you because it was what you watch on tv you got to be careful of the things That's you watch, watch you, tv you, you programming 
you programming your mind. So he watched The Exorcist, and The Exorcist told him to go out and kill. He watched that movie Exorcist, bruh. So don't watch that movie. I ain't never Because well, if it watch. brainwashed him, think about it. It could brainwash anybody. That movie, they need to check it out. Check out The Exorcist. You know, they like to pull people YouTube channels and snatch people off the air for things they do. But you got this movie called The Exorcist. He telling that that movie made him is like what, that. what made him, gave him the energy to kill the movie The Exorcist. It's been out for years, man. Now, how many other people, that's another thing that this movie then made and they're out there. You need to go see who watched that movie and do a background check. I'm trying to help. I'm trying to help. Anyway, <laughs> let's check it out, y'all. Let's check it out. The exorcist, he said, gave him power to kill. Jeffrey Dahmer, y'all. Eventually, I gave in. While Jeffrey Dahmer and, uh, may say uh, things today that make it seem like he understands walking. what went on in his mind, he does not. All he can do is tell you what happened, but he cannot stop whatever it is that drove him to kill in the first place. Do you still feel those same urges? Do you still feel that compulsion, that obsession? Now, I want to say something. I want to say something, Pave. Hmm. I want to say something. That he just told what made him kill. Am I right? Yeah, he did. He just said it. What'd he say? He just, he just literally just said movie. that movie Exorcist. And they rolled right. You see what I'm saying? They went right over. On what he and just went, said. And didn't even emphasize that Jeffrey Dahmer just gave his secret killing formula that made him and gave him the energy. Because that nigga wanted everybody else was, to do it. was The Exorcist. The movie The Exorcist do not. Let your kid watch The Exorcist. Your kid watch that movie. It's over for you. Or you're making a killer. Yep. You're making a killer. It's movies. Now, I'm not trying to down the movie Exorcist. I'm not again. I'm not trying to down. But it's like this. You can't. If, if you got a serial killer that's saying. That's saying. And telling you. Then you got to take heat. What do y'all think? Do you think that this movie, this movie is the motivation that made Jeffrey Dahmer want to kill? He said it out his own mouth. Let's go back. Let's go back. Come on, man. I just want to go back. This man. I want to go back. I want to go back to it. He said it out his own mouth that... The movie, The Exorcist, gave him the energy. Let's see. Right here. Right here. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. It's also part of his ritual. It put him in the mood for murder. Pill mixture already prepared. That's when they would be strangled. Watching the movie Exorcist 3 was also part of his ritual. You got, are you guys hearing it? It was watching the movie Exorcist 3 made Jeffrey Dahmer want to kill. Come on now. Come on. He's telling it. And, and nobody is, is, is catching it. You guys tell me if I'm tripping. He's literally leave a, saying. Leave a comment. Hit me, Scoop Kane at Gmail. Let me know. Did this guy just not tell what gave him the energy? Nobody's taking that shit serious. Nobody. But on the real, he's, it's right here. Exorcist 3 gave him the energy out his own mouth. And you guys got this movie out. I bet you it should be man. I'm telling you, it should be canceled. It should be canceled, banned. Check it out. Delete. Check it out. Out of his own mouth. The Exorcist 3. It put him in the mood for murder. Right. He was also... Uh, 
that's when they would be strangled. Watching the movie Exorcist 3 was also part of his ritual. It put him in the mood for murder. I felt so hopelessly uh, evil and perverted that, uh, that I, I actually derived a sort of pleasure from watching that tape. Did you like feeling evil? No. No, I didn't. But uh, I had tried to overcome the thoughts, and it worked for a while, but eventually I gave in. While Jeffrey Dahmer may say things today that make it seem like he understands what went on in his mind, he does not. All he can do is tell you what happened, but he cannot stop whatever it is that drove him to kill in the first place. Do you still feel those same urges? Do you still feel that compulsion, that obsession? Uh, I wish I could say that uh, it just left completely, but uh, no, there are times when I still do still do have uh, the old compulsions. Jeffrey Dahmer says as time went on, his mind became more and more warped, and yet he was clever enough to continue to elude police and lure young men to his apartment. We should warn you, the details are very graphic. I started having these obsessive thoughts uh, when I was about uh, 15 and 16, and they got worse and worse. What were your fantasies about? Uh, Now, he's going to tell what his fantasies was about. Eating niggas. No, I'm just playing. I'm just <laughs> his fantasy was about hunting for some food. Human was Jeffrey Dahmer's food, guys. So oh tell me what you guys think. This guy, not normal, I don't bro. say everybody was serial killer. No, he was hunting for his food. And he was a hunter. He hunted humans. Think about it. When you hunt deers, you kill them, eat them. Like I say, you save the trophy. He was saving the head. You go in people's house and you see deers with heads and lions of the hunt, the things they hunted. He just hunted humans. He couldn't hang them in the house. You know, it's just a difference. He had, he knew to hide them. But where on his planet, the planet where Jeffrey born, they, you probably walk in the house, everybody got human heads. They probably jump wherever his planet come on earth go hunt for humans that's why a lot of people miss it take them to their planet eat them like they go hunting like we hunt you know they go hunting on earth and then go back to their planet eat them and hang their heads around the wall so you probably go to his planet and go visit them and visit the family you know and it's a normal to have human heads on the wall if we ever get out to see whatever planet this sick individual is from, Jeffrey Dahmer. I believe it's more of them. That's all I'm saying. If you think it's more of them, Jesus let me Christ. know, people. I want to know what you think. Also, you can watch us on Roku. Don't forget to download the app on Roku. High Rush Radio, High Rush TV. Download it on Roku and check us out there. We're live there all the time. Different shows, different... All kind of stuff going on. But we're talking about Jeffrey Dahmer, y'all. Tell me, is he an animal? I mean, but he's, he, he you know, you got to watch TV shows that you let your kids watch because there's no way in heck I'm going to let my kids watch The Exorcist now because he just said that was his motivation. So if you got oh, kids, God. keep them away from that. He keep said he was, away. what, he said he was 16, 15. Yeah, yeah, man. Oh, my God. Check it out, man. Jeffrey Dahmer. We pick it through Jeffrey Dahmer's head, y'all. We pick it through his brain. We want to see what the f*** made this man who he is and who he was when he died. Check it out. Check it out, y'all. Some Jeffrey Dahmer words, y'all. Y'all hanging with Scuba Kane and Quave, y'all, on the Scuba Kane Experience Show. Check it out, y'all. Jeffrey Dahmer. All power. Uh, complete dominance, uh, they became reality. Was there pleasure in that fantasy? There was excitement, uh, fear, pleasure, all mixed together. Jeffrey Dahmer fulfilled his fantasies by murdering and dismembering 17 young men. Okay, here it is, y'all. He said. I was saying, was he killing moan blacks? Was he hunting niggas? Here it is. Here they are. Look. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. seven I say eight, not. Come nine, on, nine y'all tell niggas. me. Like nine. He niggas. he. Jeffrey Dahmer like that black meat. It was more and blacks than whites. It was more blacks, bruh. This dude was he liked that black. Sweet, Look how many blacks there were. Yeah, that sweet gay meat. He 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 liked that sweet meat. It was, know, was one like white sweet, key. Well, two white keys. Sweet chocolate. You know, his man yeah, went after the sweet. Crazy. It was gays and black. So sweet chocolate. This man went after him some sweet chocolate. <laughs> Yo, and it, it must have been. Crazy. Can you imagine? Mm. That nigga. He probably nasty. went. Mm, eat a nigga. Mm, nigga's good. I know he probably. Them niggas good. Because he, he didn't stop. He didn't stop. He, he didn't stop, going. bro. He didn't stop on one. It must, you know, he, he, he hey. Bro, I'm about man, to throw up. I don't want to know. I don't, <laughs> hey, but let's check it out, y'all. Check it out. Check it out. In time, his desires became more extreme, his deeds more grotesque. Listen to him talk about the most unnatural things in the most matter-of-fact of ways. That's when you realize that none of it has touched him. I was uh, branching out. That's when the cannibalism started, eating of the heart and uh, the arm muscle. It was a way of uh, making me feel that uh, they were a part of me. He make niggas. He wanted to. He He's wanted niggas. Their hearts out. Now he wanted niggas to. Cause remember, he hunted more. I'm, I'm gonna stay 100 now. Y'all seen? We've already seen it. I didn't know it first. Early in the show, remember, I was always saying he was hunting more niggas. But now we see. Now, now we see the facts. See Everybody see it. This dude was eating them up, and he he saying it. He wanted to feel like they were a part of him. He was eating. Their so heart. he. Wanted to feel black, y'all. That's what it is. That this, now this is entertainment purpose. Don't don't trip, y'all. Don't trip. This just for entertainment. I'm just saying. He said it. out y'all got it. I'm picking through this man brain. I'm trying to tell you. He's saying this shit out his mouth. But you gotta put the puzzle. Who is he chasing? Black. More blacks. What meat he like? Gay black. So he. Y'all and then he say, okay. I'm gonna and when he eat them, it what makes him feel apart. He wanna be black. Jeffrey Dahmer wanted to be black. Y'all tell me what y'all think. Leave a comment. I'm picking through his head, y'all. Leave a comment. Tell me what y'all think, y'all. I want to know what y'all think. Put it together. Come on now. He wanted to be a black man. Come on now. It's out his own mouth. I'm telling you. Check it out. Check it out right here. It, it, for, at first, it was just curiosity, and then it became compulsive. Then I tried to uh, keep the person alive by inducing a zombie-like state. Um, by uh, injecting uh, first a dilute acid solution into their brain or uh, hot water, and uh, it never did completely work could someone like you be stopped could you be helped no i i was i was dead set on on going with this compulsion it was the only thing that gave me any uh any satisfaction wow killing niggas the only thing that gave him oh, satisfaction he said come on Oh, you gotta put it together. Dang. What did he hunt? More blacks. What kind of meat he like? Black meat. Oh. It gave him satisfaction. Man, he was obsessed with niggas. Hey, hey, look. This is entertainment purpose, y'all. That's all. Don't take it serious. You know, I'm just talking and to the family that this happened to. Got a lot of love for y'all, and this motherfucker shit should have been. You know, hung. He should have been hung and shot, burned. You know what I mean? So it's just entertainment purpose, y'all. I'm picking through this this dude brain. I'm seeing. I'm hearing. I'm putting the facts together. 
If y'all pay attention to what I'm saying, I'm making sense. Tell me if I'm making sense. Hit me in the comments. You know, I want to know what you guys think out there, man, about Jeffrey Dahmer and, you know, pick it through his brain, man. Now, they got Jeffrey Dahmer glasses out there. You know, you can order some. It's a lot of Jeffrey Dahmer people out there that loves him. So I don't want to hate on you guys. I have nothing against you guys. You know, I'm just saying, you know, this dude was kind of strange because he didn't just target every race or just a he target particular race, you know, um, you know, so what you think about that, man? Do you now, now that you have seen the faces and, and, you know, bring back the memory of the people that it happened to, what you think, man? Was he hunting, hunting black people, he man? Was, hunting black was he people. Bl hunting black people, man? He was hunting Talk blacks. to me now. He was hunting blacks. Talk to me, bro. He, he was, was hunting, hunting blacks. He was hunting blacks, man. And, it, and I ain't going to sit here and sugarcoat it because it's coming out of his mouth. He said it. He said it straight up. And I'm I'm keeping 100. I'm keeping 100. The man said it. He didn't specifically say it, but he said it. He said it. He said it, but he didn't say it. He said it in, in other words. And they show pictures. You know, if you take the puzzle and you take the what he said here, the people he killed, put them here, and put what he's saying next to it, what you got? Match up. Where that's crazy. You got him hunting backs. But... He ain't the only one. It's just a good thing he didn't become a cop. Oh, Woo, man. Can you imagine? Man, I, we talked about that a little earlier, but Quave, man, if he had a big oh, Lord, or became one of these, you know, power uh, uh, people, you know, pro uh, somebody probation officer. Oh, oh, man. Can you imagine having Jeffrey Dahmer as a probation officer and you black? Oh, you in trouble. You in trouble. Nigga would hate you. Oh, he wouldn't protect oh, you. Oh, bro, 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 bro. Jeffrey Dahmer become a probation. He could have been any of that. See, y'all don't understand. He could have been any of that. You know, he just chose to, you know, go. Uh, he was a wild animal. He was a wild dog. He was like but a But what tiger. about the control no, ones is what I'm worried about, bro. That's what I'm worried about. The control ones up in there. The ones who know how to control. It's like a vampire. Know how to control, you know, you know that uh, hunger. What got me is say he wanted them to turn into zombies. Yeah, yeah, he wanted, yeah, he wanted to fill them. He want Jeffrey Dahmer wanted to get close to him. He wanted to be a part, you know, you know, eating them wasn't enough, bro. Eating them wasn't enough. Jeffrey wanted to, you know, be in them, you know, marinate with them, you know. Eat them and and, 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 and and live with them, and and crazy shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like eat oh, them, no, eat them and no. chill. Look, check this out. Check this out. Let's let's see what you gotta say, y'all. Let's get on. He became so warped by his evil impulses that he even took a victim's head with him to work at the Ambrosia Chocolate Factory. I kept the uh, the mummified. Uh, head and skull of one of the victims in uh, a, a carrying case in my locker at work. Were you on? God what? damn! This so he motherfucker wor was... He worked a job. This motherfucker was young. He took the head so of he a was nigga. Finna eat it. <laughs> think about this shit that the boss had to came out. Hey, think about Bro. the boss came in. He had the head in, in his thing. You know. But oh. I, if I was up and looked at that motherfucker... Like, Nigga, is that Tyrone? You got Tyrone. I was wondering where Tyrone was, Jeffrey. You got Tyrone. He was eating them for lunch. In your locker. Hey, I'd be like, man, this motherfucker then ain't Tyrone. One of our best workers. <laughs> this nigga. Bro. This man, he had him in the locker. For wait, he was probably gonna eat him for lunch. In the locker at work, bro. Saving now, it for lunch. You telling me nobody smelled that? Y'all tell me. Oh you think God. People, that's what I'm trying to tell you, bro. You can't just do this. This you bring now. Come on, bro. He was taking it to his people. He ain't snitching. See, Jeffrey ain't a snitch. But I think he brought that head to work to feed the other cannibals that's at work. See, I'm telling you, they probably was picking on that nigga. Tyrone was getting ate. <sighs> 
They walk, you know, like a vending machine. Yeah. Come on, bruh. Think oh, about what I'm saying, Quave. He took the head to work to share with the other. They need to run an investigation on the whole where he worked at. The people he was around, they see, they let all that go, bro. They didn't investigate they, the they, But it's more cannibals out there, and he was bringing them the food. Jeffrey was feeding the oh. other cannibals. And Come on, job. bro. He had a job. Come on, y'all tell me if, if I'm tripping. Y'all tell me bro if had, I'm tripping. Bro had a job. Leave a comment. Holla at your boy. Um, Tell me if I'm picking through... A serial killer mind, Jeffrey Dahmer, my way, the way I see it. I'm giving it to you guys the way I see it. Fuck all the other ways. There's other people picked through their brain. I don't know what the fuck, but I'm telling you the way I see crazy. Jeffrey in here and what I'm getting out of it. Okay. Y'all tell me if I'm right. Y'all tell me if I'm right. Tell me if I'm right. He's, he's, he's bringing heads to work. A motherfucking dead head stink. Come on, bro. You can walk that month through it with a suitcase. But come on. Nobody smelled the, the head. Nobody. He says in a small freezer. Think about this, Quave. You, nobody looking at him coming to work with this briefcase. Like, he, he appears to work with maybe a briefcase. They, maybe they think it's food. Come mm. on, man. I don't know. Come on, oh, man. I ain't away People with ain't. That. I, I'm a no. I, I'm just nosy as fuck. Hey, man. If I, I I'm know. the type. If I'm at work, bro, and some different. I see a brother come in with, with so, a, a, a suitcase, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> come on now, bro. A a, 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 a bowling bag. What, what you doing with a bowling bag at work, bro? Chocolate factory. Nobody tripped on this dude. Y'all gotta wonder, man. More people has to be involved with this shit. Nobody just, you just ain't gonna let this, you know, man walk in with a briefcase with a head in it. Put it in his locker. Now, everybody like know the lockers at work are not that. You know, most lockers, you get you a little uh, slim locker. Come on, somebody. And it's opened it. up at the top. As sneaky as people are, they ain't gonna walk in. He might have the, the head open. You know, somebody just walked, come on, bruh. Somebody seen that head in that locker and just ignored it. Oh, Jeffrey got a head in the locker. Okay. Hey, Jeffrey, we see your head in the locker, a human head of some black guy that I probably know him. He looked for me, but anyway, I'm going to keep on moving. I'm going to keep on moving, yeah. Jeff. You keep the head in the locker and it stink, you know, people. Unless come. they were scared of him. Think about this. People coming to work every day. That head in the locker, he leaves it there. They smell it. Nobody sent it saying anything. So a lot of red flags. A lot of red flags, man. But I'm just giving my opinion. My opinion. You know, this entertainment purpose only is is, you know, my opinion. Me and Quave opinion. You know what I mean? Let's let's check it out. Let's pick through the mind of Jeffrey Dahmer, y'all. Come on now. I was flaunting it. Yes, but that's how strong the compulsion was. That's how bizarre the, the desire was. I wanted to keep something of, of the person with me. Jeffrey Dahmer exhibited some disturbing behavior early on. He began drinking heavily as a teenager, dropped out of college, was arrested for indecent exposure, disorderly conduct, and fondling a 13-year-old boy. Tragically, one of his murder victims would be that boy's brother. Do you know what started it? Was there any kind of incident that you can remember? To this day, I don't know what started it. And uh, the person to blame is sitting right across from you. That's the only person. Not uh, parents, not society, not pornography. I mean, those are just excuses. His macabre 13. Did you guys catch that? Come on now. Did you catch what he said? Not parents. He's making sure that you don't involve his parents. Okay, they just put uh, parents into, you know, you remember the mass shooting? Yeah. Mass shooting, man. They just locked some the parent. I think I I I was following a little bit of it. The mass shooting. They locked up uh, the parents. You know they're locking up parents for crimes now, and I think they should because honestly, you your kid 
should know better than to go out here and hunt black people and eat them and kill them. And then you're a part of it because you, 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 he's bringing the shit home. It ain't like he's just eating. He's bringing it to the house with the family. So come on now. Talk to me. Y'all tell me what y'all think. Come on. I want to hear everybody's opinion is watching. Y'all want to talk all this and that. You got an opportunity to put your opinion down and, and, and say what you got to say. Talk to me, your boy Scooby King. I want to know your opinion about Jeffrey Dahmer, man. And uh, don't forget to follow us on Roku. Download Harris TV on Roku. And check out our show, Every Day Me and Quave. We on here. Check this out. Let's see some more, man. Let's see what's going on, Quave year crime spree finally ended when this man, Tracy Edwards, brought the police to the infamous apartment. Like the others, he had gone there with the promise of money. He was listening to my heart because at a point he told me he was going to eat my heart at that point. I hit him and I, and I ran. What was the turning point for you that made you suddenly realize that you had done something terribly wrong, something you should be sorry for? It was uh, the night of the arrest. I have no memory of what happened uh, during the six hours before uh, the last victim ran out of the apartment. I heard a knock on the door and the police were there uh, with, with the last victim. Uh, they asked me where the key was to the handcuffs. And I was, my mind was in a haze. I s sort of pointed to the bedroom and that's where they uh, found the pictures. And they, they yelled, cuff them. And I was handcuffed, and uh, it, it was just the realization that there was no point in trying to hide, hide uh, my actions anymore. The, the best route was to help, help the police identify all the victims and just uh, make a complete confession. When it was revealed that most of the victims were black or homosexual, people in Milwaukee were incensed. Many felt that was why he went after them and why the police didn't seem to care when their families reported them missing. Okay, okay, man. So my question was answered through the show. I did start out saying it was mostly blacks, then I was re thinking it i wasn't sure but i had followed i've been following it so i was almost positive sure they answered my question it's mostly black with that being said man me and quave gonna head up out the door man it's been great talking to y'all about the uh dimer and situation man i would love to know what you guys think it's been fun man uh doing this with you uh check us out on the next shows quave man what's going on man what you got going on none pay for none chill okay you doing any games you was yeah on... i got my i got my account back you was on playstation earlier yeah okay so you got your account back on playstation yeah y'all can play with quave on gta playstation uh, 5 can they PlayStation. play with you on for playstation 5 right yeah okay because okay, okay, okay. i'm on four you're on four but you yeah okay yeah, so you're gonna be on apply. five pretty soon anyway yeah so. okay so check quave out uh, also check them out on Twitch. Search Scuba Kane. I make beats as well, y'all. If y'all looking for some cold Scuba Kane dope beats, just search Scuba Kane uh, dope beats, and you'll get like the dopest beats of mine. You know what I mean? And um, also check out some of my music. I do R and B and some rap as well, and produce and all that. Just search Scuba Kane, man. With that being said, I'm out the door. Roku, stay with us. We'll be back. We we were live still on Roku, but. I am gone, 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 y'all. It's been nice doing this. We are out the Dizor. It's good with K. 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 It's good with K.